Hi, welcome. We are on Arch Labs already, and we've logged on to i3 at the top uh, right. Remember that there are now two test stops, and you have to choose between OpenBox and i3. If for some reason you got stuck, you always can press Super X, and Super X will help you in any of the two. And it will tell here down here you can lock it, log out, suspend, hibernate, and in this case you want to log out and get back to OpenBox. So, SuperX to the rescue, but this tutorial is not about that. This tutorial is about the last thing. So we've explained in the previous tutorial how to change a panel. So we have now this nice colored panel, which is this one that's active, 850. Well, this tutorial is about colors. How do they get these colors? Not these ones, because these are coming from the Conky. So in order to, for me to, well, yes and no. Um, these colors are actually for these elements down here, so don't be misled, these colors are coming from the Conky. So I'm gonna reuse the standard one, and that's this one I think, and then I'm gonna get rid of the Conky, not to make, uh, not to confuse people. So, save, reload. That's wrong. Let's check what I did wrong. Oh yeah, that's wrong, that's okay, save and then super shift reload. Oh, yeah. Why is nothing working? Why is nothing working? Very important. It's good that I made this mistake because we're inside this thing here. He, w he expects not any of my keys. He expects a K, an L, a U, an H, an R, and an S. And until you do, nothing happens. So escape. <laughs> yeah, very good that I made this basic mistake then you know it as well, it will probably make it too. Control, save, now we can do super shift R. And this is back our normal plane look, the way you installed it the first time. So this is okay. Thing is, we were talking about these colors. Now, this does not help me. I do not know what color this is. You can of course just copy, control C, Go to here, go to there, go to there, and paste. Oh, we're on Yahoo. Again, let me quickly change it so you see how we do it. So, um, display all, not make it any easier. Where was it again? Down there, down there, down there. Get rid of this one. Control B is for us bold. Here they are. So I want to have Google. Get rid, 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 and rid of these things. And that's set. And now we have here Google. So when I copy paste it, we'll get Google. And then we see straight away the color. So, okay, this is a black color, basically. I think so. So, um, fine, closing, we are here, and I want to see the colors. I can't do it, or I won't do it like that. Let's move away to Super 4, to my other desktop, and then I'm gonna open with uh, a terminal with this sh shortcut, or any other shortcut, there's Ctrl-Alt as well. So, fine, um, Packer, Atom. Take a look at it. Uh, we have to scroll all the way up, and this one will do just fine. Number 11. Why Atom? Why not something else? Probably I can use something else. I just want a tool to figure out the colors of the script there. So I can see the colors would be nicer than these hexadecimal codes. Okay. We have Atom, i3 is here, Confi is here, right mouse click, open with Genie, no, open with Atom. Where is it going to be? Nothing happens, it's broken, stupid system. No, it's told to go here. So it's waiting for you in desktop 2. Let's uh, repeat, desktop 1 or workspace 1 is going to be everything browser related. 2 is everything editing. Three. It's gonna be Inkscape, 4 is GIMP, 
five is images and melt. Six is all media player, seven would be virtual box stuff, eight would be file manager, nine would be all music stuff, no sorry, nine will be all mail stuff, and ten will all be Spotify music and all that. So it's divided, so I know when I click something, I will know it's gonna be there. So I don't need this anymore because I have double now in another program. So I'm gonna delete this one so I can see quite well. Show welcome, no, thank you very much. Yes, I want to improve. Yeah, why not? And then welcome. Let's get rid of that as well. So here we have my config code. And we can walk into it. But I wanted to show you colors. And do I have colors? These are the colors. So it's the same. There we go. Why? Huh? So, okay. Packages. Let's go to... Let's see. What was it again? Settings view install package and themes a little bit difficult to see with these colors i can fix it as well it's called pigment i had hoped come on look for it guy pigments install another one you might want to install is uh, minimap which gives us a map down here and in case of this i3 config that helps really it's a visual way to show where you are, so I install it as well. If you know Sublime Text, it's the same thing to the right, where you see where in the text you are somewhere. So these two packages will be installed, and you have it. Then, oops, close the wrong one, but it's still here. So moving all the way down. Oh, what happens? Oh, what's this color? You see. So when we press Super Shift D, and you don't like these colors, they're here. Go find your one of the 16 million colors out there. With what? Escape, Super Shift, G pick. So D, G pick, Enter. It's not tiled this one, but still you can tile it like so. Super Shift D. So this is floating, this is tiling, and then you choose a color. You can always find yourself a nice, beautiful color in here, and then move around and move this and this one around. Come on. Was it like this? Was like that? I never do do. Yeah, I never make these kind of things like so. But I thought I could move it but I suppose I can't. So choose your color. You'll have a color to choose them and then copy paste it. So without further ado, you see the minimap to the side here because I can go all the way down and I made these large blocks to navigate. So I know this is the end. The large block is the end. So if I want to have this look, Red background, black text, okay. Or I would like to have this look. So I know more or less the border, the background, the text, the indicator, more or less the colors already. And the colors we're having now, it's very uh, soft for the eyes. So it's gray and black and white. So it's, well, it's there, but it's not provoking, not uh, colorful. So if you would like to change colors, now you can see and type colors and change colors. If you say, I want to have a red color, let's do a small exercise. Zero, 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 zero. You know this is red. And there you go. That easy to fix things. And then you do Control Shift R and the things are saved. And that's as simple as that. This is just a board of a focused workspace, which is not available at the moment, so nothing will show up. So this is how it goes, how it works, and that's my advice. Use Atom, use pigments, then you see the colors, change the colors, you can change the active workspace background, for instance. Suppose you will see that, what that is. Let's try, oops, let's take FF. 0, 0, 0, 0. A good advice is use a color that stands out and then reload it 
and then see if anything happens. As you can see, nothing happens uh, here. So um, what did we do? We changed the colors of the active workspace. It should be background black and um, red, but it's not. So we'll have to figure out what element it is actually that we changed. So I'll have to get into that. Uh, these elements later I have to figure out again what was it uh, and anyway what did we change and why are we not seeing it that's for some other tutorial but this is the tool I recommend to you and see that you have um, Atom and um, I think I'll know in the meantime <laughs> doesn't matter so another tutorial um, so try out it's uh, quite uh, fun using i3 it's uh, amusing it tells already also a little bit of mystery, it's also the charm of i3, it's going to be very fast and it's also going to be very new. So it's a, a very low in consumption, I do have something open already, we've been using Vivaldi, so the, the memory is being used, of course, but it's very fast. So enjoy i3 and um, figure out how everything works. Do remember that we have made here it is conky for you and of course and this this is a conditio sine qua non you need to read this config file you need to follow what's in here and to remember the shortcuts all right have fun